John, so tell me a little bit about um, when you started modeling and what made you decide to come out here to LA. Um, well, I first started modeling when I was a baby. I was super young. Um, can't even put a number on it, probably two, two or three. I got involved because my mom used to model when she was younger, so she got me and my sisters like involved super young. And then ever since then, I've been just sticking with it through like my whole childhood. And as I got older, I knew that Milwaukee, where I'm from, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, didn't offer what I wanted to my standards. So I knew that LA was the place to be, so I packed up a bag and came out here and tried to make it happen here. And here I am right now. Did you come out to LA expecting to be discovered, or what did you expect when you came out here? Yeah, um, my mindset ever since I was young, I knew that this is this is what I've been calling for. This is what it's meant to be. So in my mind, that my mindset was at the top. So I knew the day would come, but it's pretty surreal that it's happening right now. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so had you been modeling at all prior to running into Kendall and Gigi on the beach? Um, no, I. Uh, I uh, ended my agencies in Milwaukee and then uh, came out to California with no agent. So I'd been without work for like a year or so. But now I just got discovered and got signed up with two management. So now I'm going to be starting up again, which is pretty cool. Tell me a little bit about how you met Kendall and Gigi and all of that. Did you recognize yeah. them when you saw them on the beach? Or? Um, well, no, I didn't recognize them at first. But the story goes like I was uh, skating for a little at the skate park in Venice. And then I decided to go swim off, cool down, and then I just decided to just chill on the beach and just enjoy the water, enjoy the nature and whatnot. And then I see this group of four people come up to the left of me, and they look all presentable and like good looking. And I'm a little curious on like what's going on over there. So I have my like focus a little on them. So then a little time goes by, and the uh, they start to have a picnic. They start to bring out their food, and and the seagulls start to attack them from above because they have their food and the girls start screaming and so I'm just like all right I gotta go help these girls so I go walk over there and as I walk over there the, the seagulls fly away and then I'm just like all right sweet and then one of the girls uh, says something so I turn around and gets my attention and I start up strike I strike up a conversation with the girls and and the dude and not knowing who they were I was just talking to them like normal people because I'm not too in tune with uh, TV and media like I'm a super outdoorsy person, so I'm always outside, so I don't really watch TV at all. But then I soon recognized who it was after like a couple minutes into the conversation, and I was like, the vibes were just like a little weird, so I'm just like, oh wow, this is actually who I think it is. And then they introduced them, and then it turned out to be those celebrities, which is pretty crazy. So at what point did the conversation turn to modeling, and how did that all come about? Um, well, they, uh, randomly, they brought it up. They're just like, you should take up modeling, so I'm just like, all right, well, that's the reason why I came out to L.A. And then I just told them my story, and it just went on from there. They said they can help me, and then it got me to where I am right now, which I'm signed with two management working for them, which is cool. So how has your life changed since meeting the girls? <laughs> um, it's been pretty crazy. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of recognition now um, on social media. A lot of people are, uh, the word spreading around, and it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm enjoying it. I'm really liking it here. Cool. So, um, are you still living on the beach, or what? Can you clarify mm -mm. where you were living? And um, yeah, right now I'm still technically unhoused. I don't have a house. I'm just chilling, living life freely. I'm just crashing on beaches, crashing at friends' houses, crashing out people's houses that I meet. Um, just living the hippie life, just free. <laughs> So you're basically living out in the open or you're living unhoused, as you say, by choice then? Yes. You enjoy that lifestyle? Yeah, I enjoy it. I've always been camping my whole life. Like, my family is super well-connected. We always go on family uh, vacations. So, like, we would always go camping every year and just being in tune with nature is, like, super good. So I knew that when I came out here, just it's just another form of camping. It's just a little more intense and a little more fun and super independent. And I was down for that adventure. and. I just stayed confident, stayed, had my mind focused, and it turned out. 